Hi again and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture you're going to learn how to add points to the map that we built previously, which is this one here. So all we have here is a base map, so the background map, which is a layer actually, it's a layer coming from OpenStreetMap service. So OpenStreetMaps, they, they give you a layer, actually volume will serve you this layer on the background through JavaScript. Uh, but you can also add other layers as well, other base layers and also points, which you can add on top of the base layer. So let me go to back to the code. This is what we wrote in the previous lecture. Actually, we wrote it in here, in the interactive show. But I just copied and pasted this in, in a file so that we have it and that we can add more code now on top of this. So again, as I told you, you can do help volume.app and you see you can add other things in here um, such as here you have the parameters. So you can add tiles. The default is OpenStreetMaps, but if you specify another tile such as map box bright and that has to be in quotes uh, as, as you can see in here in the tiles parameter this expects a string object location for instance it expects a tuple or a list and that's what we passed we passed a list of coordinates the width would be an integer, an integer, uh, the height, and so on. You have other options as well, which you can try by yourself. I just want to try this one for now. Mm. Let me open a new Python shell. Python 3 map 1. Make sure you have saved your script. Execute. Then you can go back to the folder and open map. Let me go to Firefox, Control R or Command R to reload. And you'll see that the background has changed. So we, we have a new base map now. Okay, let's go back to the script now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some point markers on, t or on top of the base map. And so how do you do that? Uh, well, if you do dear volume, here you can see that you have some objects and the one we want is a marker or a circle marker. So I'll try them both. Uh, but I want to explain you the logic of how you add objects to the map object. So we import volume, we create a map object, and then between the map object and the save method of the map object, you can add elements, so objects, to that map. And uh, what I want to add in this case is a marker. So I can do map dot add child. So we, use, so we use the add child method to add children. So these objects that I'm talking about are referred to as children when you add them to the map. So map add child and then you want to point to the volume dot marker. Now this marker method, this expects some arguments itself. Uh, you can do help volume dot marker. So create a simple stock leaflet marker on the map. Leaflet is a JavaScript library that helps you to visualize this. That is the engine that creates those maps on the browser. So Python creates a JavaScript code using the leaflet library. And uh, so markers allow you to add pop-ups. Uh, uh, so when you click a marker on the map, it allows you to show information. And so parameters, you need to pass a location parameter to the marker in order to visualize it. Uh, so location equals to 
So it's a tuple or a list. Uh, let's say 38 dot 2 and minus 99 dot 1. And you can also pass. So after the list, the pop up parameter, which could be like, hi, I'm a marker. I also need to pass the icon parameter, which actually is another object, and that comes from volume dot icon, mm, which expects for for me to to pass a color there, like let's say green, and yeah, basically that's it. Make sure your brackets are correct. So I have three brackets here, three closing brackets, and one and two and three opening round brackets okay save the script go to the other terminal and execute go to firefox reload and here is a marker if i click i get the pop-up message in a nice window here so that's how you add markers to your map. However, uh, I would suggest you follow a slight different approach to add uh, children to your map. Now, what I would suggest is to actually create a feature group. Volume dot feature group. And you can give it a name like my map. And then what happens is that in this feature group, so uh, the marker is a feature, and with feature groups you can add uh, multiple features to the feature group. So you can add a marker, you can add a, uh, like polygons, etc. And so uh, instead of saying map, you do uh, the feature group object. So uh, this variable that I created in here, I'm passing here, and then after that you do map dot add child and you pass the feature group in there so um, this is more so this is done to keep your code more organized and it also helps you later when you want to add uh, a control la a layer a layer control feature in your map to allow you to uh, switch the layers on and off so we'll look at this later uh, save this script and let me try reload the page and so we don't have any change things will work the same which means feature group is working fine but as I said uh, it's good to keep the code organized and it also helps you later when you add a layer control feature that's what I wanted to teach you for now and I'll talk to you later